Hello YouTube, this is Jesse Holmes, Tell me if you guys welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to continue with our playlist of uh, historiography and in this tutorial we're going to be covering uh, least significant bit historiography and how we can use uh, the least significant bit uh, notion in order to hide text in our images. As you recall, we have already I've shown you how to hide the spectrogram images. I've shown you how to hide away files, hide images with inside images. This one is going to be a little bit more uh, complicated because we're going to be encoding and decoding using least significant bits. And we, we, I did it in a way that you can make it really complex where you can encrypt and you can decipher by uh, using ciphers and so on and hash or you can uh, just use a very simple program so it's up to you so I'll give you both choices and you can use either one for your application so just let's get started I'm using an algorithm and uh, program that I got from here for this website and like I said uh, he's using least significant bits he did a great job uh, so it's a very nice uh, uh, program and but he's encrypting and he's using passwords and all that and I will give you a choice to do that or I kind of tweaked it. I took this program and I tweaked it and, and made it uh, more simple for what I wanted to do. But uh, you can go to his uh, GitHub page and you can get a copy of, uh, of the program in its entirety. Okay, But I will be showing you one that I did that is more... I tweaked his program and I made it a little bit more simpler to use for what we've been doing. Uh, and if you want to learn more about uh, least significant bits and how they work, this is a, a web page at the wiki. And this is not all, the only one. This is least significant bits, but then you, then you have other ones here. And uh, you can come here if you want to learn more about it. But for now, let me show you. Uh, let's see, YouTube, still images and tutorial two and these are the images that I'm, I'm working with the same image and I was you recall in in my tutorial uh, let me show you in my tutorial I show you how to my channel in my last tutorial right here Hello. whoops sorry guys I'm I show you how to uh, how to do images and here this one you're going to need an image that has an alpha channel so if you haven't watched my tutorial here that I did uh, um, you know the last couple tutorials you gotta go and see how I convert uh, how I add an alpha channel okay so we're going to go here and now this is the image that we're going to use and as you can see it's the same image that we're using I just made it a little bit bigger because what are we trying to do is uh, is encode a book if you go to this uh, project Gutenberg, they have uh, free books that you can download for free, and they have all kinds of great books. I mean, I just I had a choice, so I just picked the Kama Sutra in written in English, a translation from the Sanskrit, and that's what I'm working with. I'm just uh, I'm I'm going to hide the whole Kama Sutra inside that image inside this image that I just show you here and uh, it's, a, it's a big file and this is the file right here it's camera text and so you see it cat camera text 
this and you can see it's the whole book it's all there and it keeps going and going if you if I do it without the last without the pipe you can see that it's the whole thing is there so I'm putting all of that inside that image so I'm, I'm, I'm putting a whole book inside that image so basically this is uh, what I told you that I week in the last tutorial that I was going to do so let's do it so the first thing we need to do is run the code like I said to you this is uh, his code and this one is what I tweaked uh, all I did was uh, eliminate some stuff I eliminated the password I eliminated uh, the encryption but if you want to use a password if you want to do encryption you can use this one in in its entirety which is this one right here but uh, I'm using this one which is uh, a simpler version just for us to do what we're doing I mean uh, this is basically all of this stuff but I'm, I'm not doing passwords and I'm not doing encryption I'm keep, keeping it simpler so let's explain a little bit what's going on here uh, this is the header as you remember we're using an, uh, the alpha channel of that image as you can see there's the, the R G B and then there's the alpha channel and zero one two three and being that is uh is the least significant bits of each channel so each a channel where is it it's got a tuple of four so for example as you can see it's going times four so it goes three times four is 12 12 times four is 48 48 times four is uh, 192 and it, it keeps increasing in zero two four and six and this is what's going on here okay and this is going through all the pixels in order and returning the color in this one right here it's creating the header using the header data here okay and it's saying it's using text you can actually I, I did it using images and it works but you gotta kind of play play with it or uh, with the extensions but it works I might do another tutorial just using images and using this code uh, but it works for for not only text files it also works for other other extensions and, and other formats that you want to use but uh, basically what I'm going to do I'm going to leave it here for one second if you just want to copy my version of it that I use uh, his version and I tweaked it so I'm leaving it there for a little bit if you want to copy it and now I'm going to go up so you copy the the first part of it and I'm going to leave it there for one second just uh, uh, in case you're following along and you're writing I just don't want to take the time to be typing I I, I, I think it's, it's uh, it goes along a lot faster if we just uh, do it this way and then you can just type and, and, and write at your own convenience and you can uh, you know rewind the video as many times as you want now I'm going to close it here by this time I think you got the whole thing and now let's do the no, let's, let's go here and be lazy here so I'm just going to take his usage just in case copy and then this is where we're gonna go let's clear this ls we're going to take this is an alpha this both are alpha channel images this one is not this one is just rgb these two are rgba and what i'm going to do i'm going to let's just copy it here 
So let's explain the command here. I'm going Python, the command, I changed the name, and I'm going to go Stegano 8. That's my interpretation of it. And if it's in brackets like that, that means it's optional. So I'm using the image. What image am I using? I'm using this image right here, IMG1. So I go IMG1 PNG. And then I'm using this is the text that I am hiding inside. So it's the comma text, which is this one right here. The whole thing. And the action, I'm not using passport. So I'm going to erase that because I'm not using the password and I'm not using encryption, but I, I am using encode. So this is what's going on here. You, you're taking this Degano 8 program, which is this one right here, and you're taking this image as input and you're hiding this inside that image and you're encoding and the next one we're going to decode but now we're encoding using these significant bits so let's hit enter and image too small to encode the file you can store one byte per pixel so which one did i use i used that one so i think that's a little let's see how small how big it is img 508 this is substantially bigger so let's use the second image it's a little bit uh they're the same image but uh one of them is a little bit larger than the other one so let's try this one to see if it fits so you can see we're putting a whole book inside so the image has to have a lot of pixels in order to accommodate all of that text so let's hit enter and it looks like he's didn't mind this one so if we can see here we can see that it created let's remove the, this camera zip here and let's do it again so you see it from from how it's done and it created these oh i forgot i'm sorry all of the text right now is inside here and it created this output png which it has all of the text in there for example as you can see here the img was 895 895.291 and the output png there is no output png because the output png was just created so if we could if we do that again and we go lso you're going to see that right now is 1,077,560 in the output png because it contains all of that plus uh all of that so if you add those two together you're going to get that number right here. So you can see that it's almost that number right there. Okay, so now let's see. And now let's clear here. And now we're gonna use the same command, but a little bit, instead of encode, we're gonna go decode. And we're go we don't need the file anymore, so we're going to get rid of it. And it's not the IMG2 PNG, it's the output PNG. And we're going to hit enter. And as you can see, is it, uh, it sees here's output text. Okay, so we go here, and he created this new one output text right here. So now, this is what it was inside that image, okay? So if now we wanna see to make sure that we were able to decode it and extract the output, 
all we need to do is pipe it to less so you can follow along and there it is all of that was inside the image the whole Kama Sutra it was inside and uh, like I said in that in the last tutorial we can put a whole book inside that image and this is the end of this tutorial if you like this tutorial please click the like box and subscribe to my channel and follow me on github and youtube and i will see you next time thanks for watching